Welcome. Um, hi guys, good to see you all. Um, today we are going to be working on back bends. We'll actually be working on um, front body. So uh, back bends basically the entire month of August. We did core last month um, and we'll be working on frontal body and, and shoulder and chest openers um, this whole month. So you should feel pretty open by the end of August. Uh, today we'll be working on back bends specifically, not actually on our back. So um, back bends on our stomach, back bends on our feet, and yeah, you'll be feeling more open. So let's get started in child's pose. And if you have a block, please grab it. We'll be using it um, definitely to get into some deeper standing back bends. So go ahead and get started in child's pose back of your mat. Your two big toes will come to touch. Knees will open nice and wide, and then crawl your fingers out long, long, long in front of you. And then start to open your jaw and, and begin to feel a back bend in your child's pose. So what I mean by that is see if you can press your heart down towards the mat a little bit deeper. And then I want you to take three deep cleansing breaths. We always start our practice like this together. So go ahead and take a big deep exhale out of your mouth. Ha, let out your day, your week. And then big full breath in, fill all the way up. Nice sigh, exhale, empty everything out. Good, two more just like that. Inhale. And exhale. And if you're just joining, we're in child's pose. <laughs> and then last one, big breath in, fill up the lungs and the ribs. And then nice deep breath out of the mouth. You can begin to seal your lips. You should hear my music. And breathe in and out of your nose. Ujjayi breath. And again, finding a little bit of a back bend in this pose. So push your chest down towards the mat. Press your forehead deeply into the earth. Draw the fingers a little bit longer. As you send the hips back, feel your breath expand all the way from fingertips back to hip tips and allow this time to get really long and centered noticing how you're feeling bringing awareness inside the body into the heart into the mind and just noticing how you're feeling right here right now so you can check in at the end See how this practice changed you. See how it affected you. Take two more breaths, perhaps setting an intention right here. Last deep ujjayi breath, in and out of the nose. Nice and slow, start to crawl your fingers up towards your knees. So you're sitting on your heels. And then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky, interlace the fingertips, and then flip the palms to face up. Hold here. Kind of straighten out the arms and then pull the shoulders out of your ears. Get really long through the spine. Take a full breath in. Exhale, side bend over to the right. So stretch the left side of your body. And this is a little bit of foreshadowing for what we'll be, be doing later on our feet. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, side bend over to the left. Breathe into the right side of your body. But keep the right glute grounded on the right heel. Back through center, inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Push the palms forward. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. See if you can separate your shoulder blades. Come back up through center spine, comes to vertical inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms, open up the chest. Taking that first little deeper back bend here. 
capture the back of your heart with your shoulders. Inhale back through center, reach up. Exhale, crawl forward to a tabletop pose. Shoulders stack directly over wrists. Hips stack over knees. And then we'll do three cat cows before we move on. So inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly, open up the heart. Gaze lifts up and straight forward. And then we'll hold here. One breath in, one breath out. Take another breath in here. See if you can pinch shoulder blades together. And now exhale, cat pose. Round the spine, tuck the chin in towards the chest. Really push down firmly into the mat. Let's do two more just like that. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly, open the heart, and hold for a breath, exhale. Final breath in. Exhale, round the spine, cat pose. Push the palms down, push the shin bones down. Last one, so we're warming up for our back bend. Inhale, cow pose. Open up the collarbones, open up the heart, and then hold as you exhale. Last inhale here. And then exhale, round the spine, cow pose. Now inhale, drop the chest, open the heart, and walk your palms about three handprints forward to the top two corners of your mat. You're gonna drop the hips down and open the heart. It's kind of like up dog, but the thighs are down on the ground. And then as you exhale, tuck the chin in towards the chest and push all the way back to child's pose. Forehead drops down. Let's flow through that together. And then you'll start to find your own pace. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Take the back bend, micro bend in the elbow. Exhale, round the spine. Push it back through child's pose. Now you can start to move at your own pace. Closing the eyes, perhaps just flowing forward and back. The inhales pull you forward, expand the heart, drive you into the back bend. And your exhales will push you back, finding a slightly rounded spine. We'll go for about three more. Just awakening the spine. Giving yourself this time to warm up. Good. We'll all meet back in that child's pose. Good, you guys. Take a full breath in, full breath out. This time, inhale, come forward just like you just did, but step your right foot outside of your right hand. Drop the hips down, pull the chest forward. Now keep that left palm grounded. Inhale, sweep the right arm all the way up towards the sky. Take that twist. And then as you exhale, you'll start to bend into your left knee, reach around with your right hand and capture the outer edge of that left foot. So push down into the left palm, micro bend the left elbow, and then start to kick back with the left foot, gaze back towards the left foot. Good, over the right shoulder. Feel the chest open. Take one last breath in here. Exhale, gently release that left foot. Plant the right palm down and go back to your child's pose. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Gaze forward and then come forward again, stepping your left foot outside of your left hand. Right palm plant. Inhale, sweep the left arm all the way up towards the back. And same thing, bend into that right knee, reach back. Grab for the outer edge of that right foot with the left thumb. Left thumb is pointing straight up. Start to kick back. Kick the right foot into the left palm. Feel the left side of the chest open and just breathe into that space. Last breath in. Exhale, gently release left palm down. Come back to that child's pose just for one inhale. And exhale. Shoot forward, high plank pose. Inhale, shoulders stack right over wrist. Nice, you guys. Exhale, let's push it back. Downward, facing dog. Auto Mukha Svanasana. Step the feet a little bit closer towards the face. Micro bend the knee. Drawn down to that right palm. And then left palm. Just start to grab for the outer right angle. Take your square. Gaze up and under that right arm. This will 
actually help us go deeper into our back bend. Take one last breath in here. Exhale, release the left palm back down, and then come forward, high plank pose, inhale. Exhale, lift the hips back and up, down dog. Now ground down to that left palm, right hand captures the outer edge of that left ankle. And you'll use the twist to gaze up and under that left arm. Thank you guys, last inhale here. Exhale, right palm drop. Inhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Let's start to move breath to movement now. Exhale, hips lift up and back. Left palm, half forward. Come forward, high plank pose, inhale. Exhale, right palm, half that left knee. Let's go for one more easy guy. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, hips lift, tap right ankle. High plank pose, inhale. Exhale, hips lift up, half left ankle. Come forward, high plank, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly in one piece. Nice, you guys, untuck the toes. Inhale, cobra pose, bhujangasana. Peel the head and heart up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Nice, and then start to reach the fingertips forward, palms face one another. So it's cobra pose with arms extended out nice and long. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, swim the arms back behind you, almost like you're taking a breaststroke and start to interlace your hands at your lower back. Punch back towards the heel. Take a full breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Tuck the toes, push up high plank, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, nice work. Take a big breath in. Yes, Third, our surya egg. Gaze forward, bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, step or hop. Hop over. Good. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Push into the feet. Rise all the way up to stand. Start to interlace your hands overhead. Inhale, push the pump all the way up. Exhale, side bend up and over to the right. So this should be familiar. Back through center, inhale. Exhale, side bend over to the left. Back to the center, inhale. Exhale, push the palms forward, round the spine, pull the navel towards the back of the face. Back up through center, inhale. Exhale, back bend, open the chest. Nice work, you guys. Inhale, palms connect overhead, look up. Hold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen long. Exhale, turn your palms, step straight back, high plank pose. Take a full, strong breath in. Chaturanga, exhale, elbows down. And welcome to take cobra. All go straight into up dog. Because we're working through back bend. Deep inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Let's do that three more times. Full breath in. Full breath out. Gaze forward, bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, step or hop. Cover the mouth. Inhale, half lift. Good. Exhale. Inhale, we rise up. Flip the palms. Push the palms towards the sky. Take a big breath in. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Good. Back through center. Inhale. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, round the spine, push the palms forward. Back up, inhale. Exhale, deeper back bend, open up the chest. Work. Inhale, palms connect. Exhale, fold forward, bow down. Inhale, halfway lift, use the breath, ride the breath. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low plank. Nice work, up dog. Downward facing dog, exhale. You'll do that two more times on your own. Whenever you're ready, gaze forward. Start to flow. Taking your time. Hold anything that feels particularly good for you. about lengthening your spine and going deeper into your back bend. Nice to hear, Aunt Sabrina. 
I know when when yoga teachers call me out in class, I'm always like, do I wave? <laughs> Keep flowing. And then once you make it back to down dog, you're welcome to rest in child's pose or go through one more. One more to warm up the body. Good, nice Maya. So strong, Candy. And I know last month's core was, was pretty hard. So back bends should be feel good. This will be a good month. <laughs> keep it moving, keep it flowing, breathe. Take your time, go deeper into those back bends. Even that up dog, that final up dog in your sun A. You make it a little bit bigger. Yes, nice Maya. Downward facing dog is where we'll all meet. Let's take a huge breath into the belly. Big breath out. Good, right leg rises high up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Left knee drops, low lunge. Inhale, rise the fingertips all the way up. And then notice if you have that sway in the low back. Try to tuck the tailbone underneath you. Point the pubic bone towards the right heel. And then reach the fingertips higher for one last inhale. Nice, exhale, interlace your hands at your lower back. Punch down, open up your chest. Hold and breathe for a few breaths. I want you to start to trace your gaze up towards the ceiling or the sky. Bend into the right knee just a little bit more and tuck your left toes underneath you. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lift your left knee and at the same time, hinge your upper body forward. Good, so we're in a power lunge with the bind. Keep the right knee bent directly over that right ankle. Nice, you guys. Inhale, start to sweep the fingertips all the way forward, just like we did when we were on our stomach. Palms face one another, right knee is nice and bent. Take a big breath in. Exhale, cactus your arms, but keep the chest low. Pinch the shoulder blades together on the upper back. And then the, on the inhale, we'll all rise up. Crescent one. Fingertips rise high up to the sky. Hold and breathe here. I want you to breathe into the psoas muscle. The left, the left psoas. Reach the fingertips nice and high. Shoulders pull out of the ears. Take a big breath in. Exhale, interlace your thumbs only behind your low back. Punch the fingertips down. Pull the thumbs apart to open the chest. Big inhale. Exhale, hinge forward, straight into a bound warrior three. Imagine you could pull your thumbs apart. This will activate your upper back. Last inhale here. Exhale, step forward and fold. Nice work, half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Chair pose. Inhale, sit low, reach it high. So eventually we're gonna flow this one more time, breath to movement. So just keep all of these movements in your mind. Squeeze the inner thighs together, lengthen the low back, lift the chest up. Big breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms. Palms face down. Squeeze shoulder blades together. And then see if you can lift your triceps a little bit higher. Push into the feet. Inhale, we'll rise all the way up. Palms will connect. See if you can take a little back bend at the top. Big inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Nice. Half lift. Inhale, lengthen it out. Chaturanga. Exhale, high to low plank. Up dog, inhale, open it up. Take the back bend. Downward facing dog. Exhale, good. Settle in, breath in, breath out. Left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Right knee drops, low lunge. Rise your arms up. Good, and then settle in. So allow the shoulders to melt away from the earlobe. Get long through the low back. Good, you guys. Find strength in the upper body. Big breath in. 
Exhale, take the interlace, opposite thumb on top, behind the low back. Punch down, open the arms. And see if you can take this back bend from your upper back. Open and broaden those collarbones. Trace your gaze on the ceiling. Tuck your back toes under. Take a big breath in. And then using your low core, lift your right knee up. Hinge your upper body forward. Find strength in the front leg. Good. And try to get your chest parallel with the mat beneath you. On your inhale, swim the arms forward. Palms face one another. Shoulders pull out of the ears. Big breath in. Exhale, cactus the arm. Pinch the scapula together on the upper back. And then on the inhale, we'll rise up together. Crescent lunge. Anjaneyasana. Rise the arms nice and high. Firm the back leg. Lengthen the lap up. Good, you guys. Huge inhale. Exhale, hook the thumbs behind your low back. Pull the thumbs apart as you send the fingertips apart and down. Exhale, hinge it forward. Land in your warrior three. Flex the right foot. Flex it down towards the mat and try to levelize the hips in the same line. Good work. Last breath in. Exhale, step forward and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. We'll flow now since you know it's coming. Chair pose. Inhale, sit low, reach high. Exhale, airplane the arm. Palms face the mat, elbows rise up. Push into the feet, inhale, come to stand. Take your back bend. Exhale, fold straight back down. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen as long as you can. Shoot it back, exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, deep back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment, settle back in. We're gonna do that one more time, breath to movement each side. All right, you ready? Here we go. Right leg rises all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Let it be a dance. Inhale, low lunge. Reach the arms up. Exhale, fingertips. Interlace behind the low back. Back toes are tucked. Inhale, lift the back knee up. Exhale, hinge the upper body forward. Good. Fingertips sweep forward. Inhale. Exhale, cactus the arm. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, hook the thumbs behind the low back. Punch down with the fingertips. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, hinge forward, glide through space. Warrior three. Hold as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, dive. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low, reach it up. Exhale, airplane the arms. Pinch shoulder blades together. Inhale, push into the feet. Rise into your back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Chaturanga, exhale. Each time we're going deeper in our back bend. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right away, left leg lift, inhale. Step the left foot in between the hands as you exhale. Inhale, low lunge. Keep the right toes tucked. Exhale, hands interlace behind the low back. Punch down, open the heart, inhale. Exhale, lift the right knee as you hinge the upper body forward. Swim the fingertips forward, inhale. Exhale, cactus the arm. Inhale, we rise up, crescent lunge. Breathe with it. Exhale, thumbs hook behind the low back. Punch the fingertips down, pull the thumbs apart, inhale. Exhale, hinge forward, glide through space. Warrior three, hold, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, dive, hold. Good, chair pose, inhale, sit low. Squeeze the glutes together. 
exhale, airplane my arms, swim them back. Push into the feet, inhale, rise into the back bend, take it a bit deeper. Exhale, straight back down, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, shoot it back, chaturanga, high to low. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, you guys. Take a big breath in. Exhale, drop your knees straight down underneath the hip bones. Walk the hands all the way forward. Anahatasana, puppy dog pose. Drop your forehead down. Keep the hip points directly over the knee. Toes stay tight. And then imagine my hand is pushing the back of your heart right in between your shoulder blades. Gently pushing the back of your heart down towards the mat, gliding it, opening the chest a little bit more. And then breathe into that space. Let it feel nice. Good, everybody gaze forward. We're gonna come into Sphinx Pose. Drop the elbows down, send the hip bones down, and open up the chest. Sorry, my, my pants match my mat. Promise, last time I'll do that. It's really hard to see. Open up the chest, push the palms down, take your sphinx pose. Good, now start to walk your left palm over towards your right wrist. So your left forearm bone is at a diagonal. Bend into your right knee, reach back with the right palm and capture the inner edge of the right foot. Right thumb points straight up and start to kick back with that right foot. Open the right side of the chest, the right pec. Good, you guys. Big inhale. Exhale, release the right foot. Right palm stacks on top of left palm. Let your forehead rest right on top of the palm. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Let's arrive back in our sphinx pose. Elbows drive underneath the shoulders. Pull the chest forward and start to walk your right palm over towards the left wrist. Bend into the left knee, reach back with that left hand. Grab for the inner edge of your left foot and then kick back to open the left shoulder, the left pec. Keep kicking back. Square the chest towards the front of the mat. Last breath in. Exhale, release the foot, release the forehead down on top of the left hand. Good, you guys. Take a big breath into the low back. Exhale, move through child's pose. Keep the toes tucked and then go straight back. Downward facing dog. Lift the hip all the way up and back. Nice work. Big breath in, big breath out. Moving on, right leg. Rise as high up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, cross it under. And you're gonna drive your right knee over towards your right elbow and lift it all the way up and around to scorpion dog. Let's do that three more times. Right knee, left elbow, over to the right, and then all the way up to scorpion dog. So it's like you're taking big circles. Do those last two on your own. So we're firing up our power opening while we open up the right hip. And then the next time the right leg rises, lift it and straighten it all the way up in the heel. Exhale, step that right foot in between your hands. Easy twist. Inhale, right arm rises all the way up. Now activate your left leg, bend into the right knee more, and start to pop up onto the left fingertips. So you're getting super light on the left fingertips. And use your low core to rise you all the way up. Crescent lunge with an open arm twist. Find the whole body active as you gaze back towards your right finger. And then inhale, exalted warrior. Slide the right hand on the back of the left leg as the left fingertips paint the sky. Open up your chest. Nice, you guys. Let this back bend feel really nice. Take a big breath in. Exhale, crescent twist. Left elbow outside of right knee. Hands come to heart center. And then start to twist your chest, your heart, up towards your thumb. Gaze down at your right foot. Start to get really light on your left foot. 
and then slowly you'll begin to balance on the right foot lifting the left heel in the same line as the left hip bone staying in your twist you guys are doing great work we're here for three we'll come into a standing l in two and one standing l fingertips come under shoulder we'll start to straighten the right leg if you need your block you're more than welcome to use it here keep kicking back with that left foot and find balance Right leg. And then left hand will come to left hip bone and start to open it up. Half moon pose. Once you're balanced in your half moon, lift left hip bone directly over right hip bone. You can start to reach the left fingertip all the way up towards the sky. Keep the left foot flat. You're here for three. We'll land in warrior two by bending the right knee in two. And one, land nice and soft. Fear of a drop in a two. Good, you guys. Now find it with the feet. So bend into the right knee deeply. Activate both of your arms. Squeeze is that an over right middle finger. Good. Now inhale, reach the right arm all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, bend into the right knee, elbow, and then capture the right elbow with the left hand. All right. So. Your palm should be pushing into the back of your heart right now. Try to walk your right palm over towards the left shoulder blade and grab it. Good, now keep walking your right palm over towards the outer left bicep and see if you can grab the outer left bicep with the right palm. So it's kind of an, an interesting bind here. Now stay here, inhale, reverse the warrior. Pull the right elbow up and back and then breathe into the right side of your body. And I want you to remember this grit because we'll be doing it in wild time. Good, spine comes back to vertical. Extend the arms, warrior two, inhale. Exhale, skandasana towards the back of your mat. So bend into the left knee. Hands can be at heart center as you straighten out the right leg or fingertips can come down towards the mat. You have two more breaths here, breathing into the hip. Breathing into the right hamstring. Right foot is flat. Good, you guys. Now gaze forward at the right foot. We're gonna swim straight back to that easy twist. So bend into the right knee, plant the left palm down. Easy twist. Inhale, reach the right fingertips all the way up. Good, now you're gonna spin onto the outer edge of that left foot. And we'll come into Vashi Stasana side plank, but try to hover the right foot above the left foot just for a beat. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bend the right knee, wild thing. Toss the ball mound of the right foot behind the left knee. Start to reach the right fingertips towards the front of the mat. Take your back bend. Now remember that bind. Bend your right elbow. Capture the back of your heart in your wild thing with your right palm. Now you're welcome to stay here or start to walk the right palm over towards the left bicep. Take the grip. If you're confused, you can always look up here at me. Open the chest. Lift the hips a little bit higher. We're here for three. We'll move into side plank in two. And one, back to side plank as you inhale. High plank pose, exhale. Nice, you guys, take a big breath in. Exhale, straight down to your belly. Good. And then we'll start to bend into the knee. Reach the palms back behind you and hook the thumbs. Flex the soles of your feet towards the sky. So imagine you were going into Dhanurasana right now. Floor bow, but without capturing the legs. As you inhale, lift everything up. Feel that sensation of pulling the thumbs apart. Let that open your chest more. And then feel the glutes engage as you stamp the soles of your feet towards the sky. Lift up a little bit higher, I know it's hard. Last inhale. Exhale, lower it down, push back, child pose. Nice work. Don't get too comfortable. One huge breath into the low back here. And then open mouth, exhale. Good. Let's come forward to a high plank pose as we inhale. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg rises all the way up, inhale. 
exhale, left knee, right tricep. Left knee will cross over to the left tricep and then all the way up and over to Scorpion Dog. And we'll do that three more times. Left knee, right elbow, over to the left elbow, and then all the way up and over. And keep doing that two more times at your own pace. Last one. Next time the left leg rises, lift it all the way up. Stay in that left leg, big breath in. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Easy twist. Left fingertips rise all the way up towards the sky. So engage that back leg. Open up the heart and start to get light on your right finger. Push into the ball mount and the heel of the left foot. And then start to rise up nice and slow. Crescent lunge with an open arm twist. Feel the inner thighs scissoring together. Good. Inhale, exalted warrior. Right fingertips paint the sky. Left hand glides down the back of that right thigh. Good. Open up the heart. Take the back bend from the upper back. Good. Big inhale. Exhale, twist. Right elbow outside of left knee, and we'll come to heart center. And then twist your heart up towards your thumb. Gaze can be up over the left elbow. The twist, like I said, are really good for getting deeper into back bends. Now everybody gaze down at that left big toe, and start to balance on the left foot. If you fall out of it, okay. Just lift the right foot, the right heel, in the same line as that right hip bone. Try to stay in the twist, you're here for three. Standing L is the release in two, and one. Good, fingers come down, right under the shoulder. Keep the right foot flat. Lengthen out the spine, you're doing great. You can use your block here. Right hand will come right onto the right hip. Grab it, and then start to open it. Find yourself in half moon pose. As you're ready, your right fingertips will rise all the way up towards the sky. Think about getting really long from the crown of your head, shooting out of the right heel. Start to bend into that left knee. We'll all land. Veer of a drop in the two, nice and light. Yes, you guys, so good. Activate the arm. Gaze out and over the left middle finger. Good, left arm rises all the way up, inhale. Exhale, bend into that left elbow. Capture the back of your heart. And you'll grab the left elbow with that right hand. Really push the back of your left hand down your spine. And you'll start to walk the left hand over towards the left shoulder blade. See if you can grab the left shoulder blade with the left hand and keep walking it over towards the right bicep. And grab the right bicep with the left hand. Good, now take your reverse warrior shape. Breathe into the left side of the body. Keep the left knee bent. Great, you have one more breath here. We'll release it. Warrior two, big breath in. Exhale, scund off in the back of your mat. Bend into the right knee, bend the hips low. Flex your left foot towards the sky. You're welcome to bring your fingertips down. For me, this side is like way tighter. We'll take two more breaths. Good. Try to keep the chest lifted. And then we'll all gaze at the left foot towards the front of the mat and land back in that easy twist. So just slither yourself forward, right palm is down, left arm rises all the way up. Spin onto the outer edge of that right foot and we'll step back, side plank pose. Vashi Sasana, hovering the left foot. Take a big breath in. Wild thing, bend into the left knee, step the ball mound of the left foot behind that right knee. And then take your back bend, reach the left fingertips towards the front of the mat. You'll start to bend into the left elbow. Capture the back of your heart with your left hand. Maybe grab onto the right shoulder blade or the outer right bicep. Good, you guys. Open up the chest, lift the hips up. We're here for three. Side plank to high plank in two, and one. Let's knee back in that side plank pose, inhale, and then high 
high plank pose as you exhale. Nice work. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Good job. Now reach your arms out long in front of you. Good. We're going to lift the left arm and the right knee or the right leg up as high as we can. Big breath in. Exhale, release it. Change sides. Lift the right arm and the left leg up. Good, keep pushing the pubic bone down. Big breath in and release it. All right, now you're gonna bend into your right knee. Capture the inside or the outside of the right foot with the left hand. And then as you inhale, lift everything up. Keep kicking back with that right foot into that left hand. Open the chest, lift, get nice and long, big inhale. I know it's hard, exhale, release it out. Let your forehead rest down on the mat. Take a huge inhale and exhale. Good, now bend into that left knee, reach around with the right hand. Capture the outer edge of that left foot. Right thumb points straight up and as you inhale, Push your pubic bone down, squeeze your glutes, and rise it up. Lift everything up. Kick the left foot into the right hand. Feel your right shoulder open. Get a little bit higher, inhale. Exhale, lower it down, and then push it back. Child's pose. For this child's pose, I want you to crawl the fingertips forward, bend into the elbow. Send your prayer straight up towards the sky as your forehead rests down. Some of you might drive the thumb all the way to the back of the heart. Take three deep breaths. Feel the beat of your heart. Breathe into the sweat. Breathe into everything you're feeling. Give you guys last breath in. Exhale, release your arms out nice and long in front of you. And then we'll all meet back down dog. This will be our final standing series. So it should feel good. Make sure your block is at the top of your mat. Nice big breath in and out. Right leg rises and hips. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Back heel spins down. Virava drops in a one. Warrior one. Right the arm. And then I know, for me at least, in warrior one, I tend to kind of back off of bending my right knee. So something we should all work on, bend the right knee more, square the chest towards the front of the mat. Dial the right hip bone back and free. And then warrior one is actually a back bend. So if you want to connect your palms overhead, feel the heart open. Big breath in. Exhale, interlace the hands with the low back. Punch down, open your heart a little bit more, inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. Dive the chest forward. Let the right shoulder glide inside of that right knee. And let your head hang heavy. Take two deep breaths here. Keep sending your hips, your right hip towards the midline of your body, the midline of the mat. Final inhale here. Exhale, release your hands down to frame your right foot and just straighten out your right leg. Pyramid pose. Lengthen and fold the spine over the right leg. If you need to hop that left foot in any amount, please do so to make sure the entire sole of your left foot is glued down onto the mat. Good. Now this is where the block might come in handy. If you have a block, you can pop it directly underneath your throat. Place the left palm on top of the block. And then inhale, start to sweep the right fingertips up towards the sky. Twisted pyramid pose. Lengthen the right fingertips up. And then keep gliding the hips towards the midline of the body. Gaze down at the block or at your left hand. You'll find a micro bend in that right knee. You can stay here or you'll pop the block or the left hand forward and glide into revolved half moon foot. Lift the sole and the heel of the left foot in the same line as the left hip. 
just like our standing L. And then you can stay here, or if you'd like to go deeper, bend into your left knee, reach around with the right palm, grab for the outer edge of that left foot, and then kick back. Taking Revolve Chop Asana. We'll call it Revolve Dancer. We're here for three. We will rest in a forward pull at the top of our mat in two and one. Release the foot if you have it. And then step all the way forward. And we'll grab your elbows and hubby. Bend your knees deeply. Let your chest rest on your thigh. Take a huge, huge open mouth exhale. You're doing great. Ha! Ah. And then sway side to side. Let that go. I know it was tough. I'm like sweating. <laughs> All right, plant the palms down. You can shoot back through vinyasa or just step straight back, downward facing dog. Yes, we have one more side. You're doing great. Nice work, Allison. Find that energy from within. Take a lion's breath. Big breath in. Stick your tongue out. Exhale. Left leg rises in here. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Spin the right heel down. Virabhadrasana one. Warrior one. Reach the arms up. And find the pose. Push the right heel down into the mat. And feel that energy rising all the way up the inseam of the right leg. All the way up the spine, lengthening the sides of the body. And maybe you take your back bend. Bend into the left knee more. Open up the chest as you push the palms together. Traditional warrior leg. Interlace the hands low back. Inhale, punch down. Open up the heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Dive the chest inside of that leg. Your head be heavy like a bowling ball. And then glide your fist towards the front of the Feel the outer edge of your right foot gluing down to the mat. Last breath in here. Inhale, release your hands to frame your left foot. And then go ahead and straighten out that left leg. Pyramid pose. You can pop the right foot in any amount. And then lengthen the spine to fold over the left leg. Breathe into the stillness of this forward fold. Nice, and then grab your block if you have it. You'll plant it underneath your throat. Right palm will plant right on top of that block. And you'll start to sweep the left fingertips up towards the sky. Twisted, revolved pyramid pose. Pushing the right palm down. And as you push the right palm down, feel energy shooting all the way to the left fingertips broadening your collarbone and then get nice and long from the crown of your head all the way back towards your cubic bone gaze down at your right palm micro bend that left knee and then you'll glide through space moving into revolved half moon pose using your low core to elevate your right foot in the same line as your right foot keep twisting the heart up nice you guys you look so good like to move on you'll bend into that right knee reach around with the left hand and then kick back to open up really utilizing your block here you have to have super super open hamstrings to move into this pose the revolved half moon is perfect too keep kicking back we're here for three we'll step forward into a fold in two and one step forward and fold nice shake that out so let your head shake, let your arms shake. Good. And then walk your two big toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knee. Sit all the way down. And then you'll extend your right leg out long in front of you. Hug the left knee in towards the chest as you inhale. And then stomp the left foot outside of the right thigh. Left fingertips will come back behind you. Right arm will rise as you inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. 
Feel this spine elongate as you gaze towards the back of your mat. Thank you guys. Feel the left shoulder blade gliding down the back of your rib cage. Last inhale here. And then exhale, face the front of the mat. So chest faces the front of the mat. And then you're just gonna keep walking the left foot over towards the right hip bone. So the left knee will stack right on top of the right knee. Flex the right foot. We're going into half Gomukhasana. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Let your head relax. Let it hang heavy. Good, breathe into the low back. You can grab onto your ankle or the sole of your foot. You should feel this in the outer hips, the low back. The more you suck your navel up and in, the deeper you can go into the fold. Final breath in. And out. Good. Go ahead and walk your hands back up. And then you'll just change sides. Extend the left leg. Pull the right knee in towards the chest. And then stomp the right foot outside of the left side. Right fingertips come behind you. Inhale, sweep left arm up. Exhale, twist. Left elbow outside of right knee. Gaze towards the back of your mat. Flex your left foot towards your face. You can close your eyes. Feeling the grounding energy traveling all the way from your feet up through the crown of your head. Final breath in. Exhale, face your chest towards the front of the mat, and then keep crawling left the right foot over towards the left. See if you can stack your right knee directly over your left knee. Arms will reach up as you flex your left foot, inhale. Exhale, fold. Half, go and pop the in. And then as you're ready, slowly walk the fingertips up. We'll do one last fold. So shake your legs out long in front of you. And then bring the soles of your feet together. We'll come into Baddha Konasana, so butterfly pose. And we're gonna take this more like a diamond shape. And I want you to think about rounding the spine and eventually you'll get the crown of your head into the soles of your feet, eventually, right? So grab the ankles, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, dive the crown of your head towards the soles of your feet, rounding the spine. Palms can face up. Reach the arms out in front of you and just rest. And if you have a block, you can play around with resting the crown of your head on a block instead. Just let this be really grounding. You have five to ten deep breaths here. Super important after we do all those back bends to neutralize it, balance it out with a series of folds. Allow your body to cool down. Last few moments. And you guys slowly lift the chest up, draw the knees together. I'm just going to lower all the way down onto our feet. Hug your knees and towards your chest. Go ahead and extend the left leg out long in front of you as you inhale. And then exhale, right knee crosses over towards the left. Gaze towards the right. I know we have a lot of advanced practitioners in here, so if you guys want to up-level this twist, start to extend the right leg long towards the left. Eventually, you'll capture the outer edge of your right foot with your left hand. Move the right shoulder blade down towards the mat. 
Black Raven. Good. Will we come back through Fencher? This is nice and easy to change sides. Hug the left knee in. Bend the right leg long. Take a full inhale. Exhale, two pine twist. Raise that left knee over the body. Glue the left shoulder blade down. You can the left. And if you want to up level it, you can always capture the outer edge of that left foot with your right hand. And extend the left foot, the left leg down. Over towards the right. Two more moments. Thank nice, you guys. Slowly make your way back to your center. We're just going to do one back bend on our back, followed by happy baby, and then we'll move into a sweet shove up. Plant the soles of your feet down. Lift the hips all the way up. Start to interlace your hands at your lower back. Taking bridge pose. Satu Bandhasana. If you'd like to take Urdhva Dhanurasana full wheel, you are absolutely warm enough for it. So take whatever back bend is calling you. And we'll take a few more deep breaths here. Just about five. See if you can hold the back bend. Pushing the feet down, activating the legs, spinning the inner thighs down, lifting the hip points up, opening the heart. Breathing into this space. If you're ready, you'll come all the way down. Lower back, a land last. And then push the heels of your hands, your palms, into your thighs and push forward enough. This will help widen your low back. Close your eyes, take a full breath in. This full breath out. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Happy baby pose. Ananda Balasana. Capture the outer edges of your feet. Keep your sacrum glued down. When you find that opposition, you can pushing the feet into the hands, pulling the hands, the feet down. This is do that you'll feel the hip creases the hip flexors open up if you do that open up your jaw your jaw soften your cheeks relax maybe taking a couple of breaths that feel good for you lion's breath fluttering the lips moving the jaw around As you're ready, hug the knees and towards the chest. Noticing how much more open you feel. Take a full breath into the body. Exhale, release. Shavasana. Bending the legs out long. Palms will face up. If you have a hair tie in, you might want to take it out. the back of your neck. Just close your eyes and rest. Taking a deep breath to settle in to your Shavasana. And enjoying the Shavasana. So important to rest after back then. I'll call you out when it's time.
guys are welcome to rest in your Shavasana as long as you'd like. Be ready to move on. Keep your eyes closed and just go ahead and rock your head from side to side. And just like we did at the beginning of our practice, interlace your fingers and then flip your palms up. Reaching the arms out nice and long behind you, pointing the toes. And stretch out nice and long. Take a full breath in and out. Hugging you in towards your chest. And then I want you to rock side to side. Feel the pressure of your low back down on the mat. And then rock on over to whatever side feels nice for you. You'll push yourself up to a comfortable seat. And as you're ready, you'll bring your hands to your heart. Anjali Mudra. Bow your chin in towards your heart. And then as you breathe into the heart space, into the chest, your heart on a hatha chakra. You feel the collarbones broaden, the shoulder blades peel together on the upper back. And notice all that space you created in the front of your body. And honor that space. Carry it with you for the rest of your week. Together we'll breathe in. And out. And then let's all bow forward to honor each other and ourselves. Namaste. Namaste, yogis and friends. Thank you for being here as always. Hope you enjoyed that. And like I said, we'll be doing back then all month long. So hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. Good to see everyone. Have a good one. Thank you, Emily.